for Afghan women, often this is a new realization. And the solution to heartache in marriage, whether it's an Afghan marriage or, or um, a Muslim marriage or a Christian marriage, is, is to find God in the marriage and to mm -hmm. find restoration in the mm -hmm. marriage and mm -hmm. to love one another. Yes. I thought it was refreshing that you did not hold up the American way of marriage as the standard. <laughs> well, because, we've done it so well. Yeah, because we <laughs> definitely have our issues here, whether it's somebody who's a single mother, or like you said, if there's divorce or adultery, or you know, whatever it is, right, that, um, that, that, that it's still deviating from God's plan. Um, I want to I want to give you some time just to because I I, mean, I I can certainly ask you some uh, inform you know some questions around um, you know just Islam itself right and and does it, the way that um, that we see Islam in, in in Afghanistan is it the same Islam that's sort of practiced um, in in other places where folks call themselves Muslims um, and and you can certainly answer that but I, I want to I also want to give you an opportunity to talk about you know why did you write this what is it that you want people to get from this book in the land of blue burkas I, I really like that question I I want people to see Jesus in a fresh way we've had 2,000 years history to wrestle with the teachings of Christ in our society and to see the Jesus teachings in the context of Afghanistan and watch Afghans who've never heard these teachings and stories before interact with Jesus and to see what happens to a culture that hasn't had 2,000 years to mm. wrestle with the teachings of Jesus and how the darkness is, is manifested in that. I, I want people to see Jesus in a, in a fresh and new way. I, I think Jesus is beautiful mm -hmm. and really, really beautiful in the eyes of Afghans who come to know him for the first time. I also want people to uh, the reader to see Afghans. They're human beings. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not just, um, you know, people who kill American soldiers or uh, are sloppy police officers or corrupt politicians, mm -hmm. but they're also real people. And especially for us as Christians, it, it grieves me that as Christ followers, we don't welcome well the, the strangers in our midst, the Muslims mm -hmm. in our midst. This is our responsibility mm -hmm. before God. And God said it over and over and over again that, that we have a responsibility to remember that we also were strangers mm -hmm. and to welcome the strangers in our midst, that we also walked in the ways of the world. Mm -hmm. And God drew us out of that and drew us to himself. Mm -hmm. I want the reader to see Afghans as Muslims and as precious to God human beings not because they're just like us. Mm -hmm. They're not. Mm -hmm. But because God loves them with an everlasting love. Mm -hmm. And I want us to look at our neighbors here in Chicago and America and recognize that each person we cross on the street, pass on the street, is precious to the God of the universe. Mm -hmm. Absolutely precious. And our responsibility is to love them. Mm -hmm. I'd just like people to think about that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you... Um, propose that folks would engage Muslims that are in their circles of, of influence because I I really sense from you a love right this is there's not any condemnation here there's just a love for these people and a recognizing of I and mean, specifically here the Afghans um, but you know we have folks in our circles whether they're Muslim or um, other faiths, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, how, how do we engage them in this conversation around this faith in Jesus Christ? I, I think talking to Muslims about our faith is the easiest thing in the world, uh, especially to Muslims who are uh, committed to their own faith, uh, or believers in their own you know, faith, rather than secular Muslims. Mm. Secular Muslims are or uh, perhaps not so interested in the mm -hmm. things of faith. I think we talk to people, say hello, get to know people, be willing to uh, enter a dialogue, ask someone for tea. Uh, I talked to a woman who said that she was talking to a Somalian woman who 
uh, worked at a coffee shop or some place in, in uh, her city, I can't remember exact situation, and they were getting to know each other, and this Somalian woman was sharing her faith with this uh, Christian woman, and the Christian woman wanted to know, well, can I share my faith mm. with the Somalian? Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah, we certainly can. What we don't want to ever do is try to enter into an argument and, right. you know, let me prove right. how stupid you are, yes, because right, we're, right. truthfully, we're all pretty stupid. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> we're all pretty naive. There's a lot we don't understand. Mm -hmm. We are pilgrims on a journey. Mm -hmm. But definitely to be able to share our, our faith mm -hmm. uh, with, our, with our Muslim neighbor, to ask the questions, you know, what, what do you, how do you believe you're going to reach heaven? Mm -hmm. How do you pray? What do you experience when you fast? Mm -hmm. And take a genuine interest in trying to know uh, your Muslim coworker or your Muslim mm -hmm. neighbor, mm -hmm. trying to understand who they are and what's important to them, and in trying to help them understand who you are and what's mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. uh, on the on the smaller note, yes, yes. hospitality is key. Yes, uh, invite people to to coffee, to tea, to a meal. Mm -hmm. Ask them what their guidelines are. All Muslims are different. Would you and your husband like to come? Would you like to come uh, stay with the same gender? Women should not, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Christian women should not be trying to build relationships and uh, with mm -hmm. Muslim men and mm -hmm. vice versa. That's not, a, that's not really appropriate. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially for women, talk about family. And for both, talk about where people are from. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. from where? You're from Afghanistan? You're from Iraq? What mm -hmm. do you miss about your homeland? Mm -hmm. where, the Afghans would always invite me in and they would say, where are you from? I'm, <laughs> I'm American. Where is your mother? <laughs> <laughs> My mother is in America. <laughs> Don't you miss her? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, they have such a, a tight family community. Yeah. 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 So to ask someone what? I, is your mother alive? Mm -hmm. And I learned to do that. And, oh yes, my mother is alive. Well, praise be to God that your mother is mm -hmm. alive. How many children do you have? Mm -hmm. Because these are the things that are important to, yeah. to women everywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. American women, Muslim women, Afghan women, Christian women, Jewish right. women. It, yes. This is what's important. Yes. Well, and scripture says some plant and some water, but God gives the increase. And so that's what we do. We share mm -hmm. um, and we share the love. And, uh, you, and, and I think that um, what you were able to do was that you were serving. It wasn't like you were just there engaging in conversation, but you were actually there as an aid worker. You were there serving the people, and so they were able to witness a demonstration of that love, which I think is, um, you know, which is so powerful. And I think that's Jesus' model, right? Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. he fed people and healed people and cared for people and uh, and made deposits before he, you know, even introduced who he really was to them. Um, I really would love for you to pray mm -hmm. for folks as you look into that camera there, Kate, and so appreciative of you being on our program. And Kate's book is In the Land of Blue Burkas, um, and I think that's such a good read. Um, I, I can't wait to finish the rest of it, <laughs> um, and I've already recommended it to someone um, as well. So would you please pray? Uh, oh, I'd, I'd love yeah. to. Thank mm -hmm. you. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you are the God of the universe. You are our King and our Lord. You have loved us with an everlasting love. I thank you that you came and you reveal the Father in everything that you said, in everything you did, in every place you walked. You show us the God of the universe. And then you took on our sins at the cross and you washed us clean. And by your grace, we have the, the privilege of coming into your family, of being adopted as your sons and daughters. Father, I thank you for giving me the privilege of walking in Afghanistan and getting to know so many beautiful people there who you also love. And Lord, I thank you for bringing so many Muslims here to the United mm. States. And I pray for us as a nation and as, as our communities. I pray that you would, uh, that you would fill us with uh, a love and compassion for our neighbors, uh, that we would welcome these, these um, some who have come recently and some who have been here for a long time people who are different than us and, and the dominant culture in our society, that you would give us uh, compassion and grace and love. I pray that you would build bridges, that you would break down the walls that divide Americans in different communities. I pray, Lord, uh, specifically for the, the man or woman who's, who's watching, who has particular Muslim neighbors and Muslim coworkers, and just, just wants the, to know how to talk to them. And I, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would, you would, 
you would fill that man and that woman with your Holy Spirit, with the love, and with the courage to just walk across the, the aisle or, or, or walk down the street and, and say, hey, I'm so-and-so, and I just really want to welcome you, and I want to get to know you. Mm -hmm. Could you come have a cup of coffee with me mm -hmm. or a cup of tea with me? And Lord, I pray that you would build friendships across these, these different, um, different backgrounds, that we would, mm -hmm. in you, be one people, mm -hmm. uh, that we would be transformed into one community that bears uh, the, the marks of your love and mm -hmm. your truth. Father, yes. I thank you for our conversation, and I, I pray, Lord, that you would be glorified. Yes. And I pray all these things in the name of the true Lord Jesus Christ, who lived and died and rose again. Amen. Amen. Every boy singing, I'm 